Do you ever feel like designer stores feel a little bit too intimidating to enter? So perhaps you avoid entering altogether because you just feel like you don't belong there. If you answered yes to those questions, then I understand you because I think most of us have felt like this at some point. But the thing is that we need to ask ourselves, why do we feel like this? Why would you feel like you don't belong? Is it because you weren't born rich and you have this false belief that designer stores are only for rich people? What is the worst that can happen if you enter a designer store? Is it the discomfort that you're gonna feel? You're gonna feel like, oh, I don't belong. I'm not worthy of being in here. Or perhaps you're gonna be worried about that. Maybe somebody's frowning upon you. Maybe the sales assistants are you know, looking at you a little bit sideways like that and thinking or saying to each other, what is she doing here? Maybe you will feel humiliated or maybe you just feel like there's going to be so much pressure for you to purchase something that unless you have the money to spend, there's no point even going inside. Now, whatever you might feel, I want you to know that imposter syndrome is very common inside designer stores. And I want you to know that it is incredibly healthy for you to get exposed to designer stores if you want to level up your life. And what do I mean by that? Well, if you are somebody and you are on this journey of elevating your life to the next level, whatever that might mean for you, maybe you want a more luxurious lifestyle, maybe you want a more quality life, I don't know. But when we want to take ourselves to the next level, we have to feel comfortable with how the next level feel like. And that is something actually that I'm going to give to you in a free workshop that I have created. For the last time, I am holding a brand new workshop. It's called the Fabulous Future Formula, where I share the roadmap to leveling up and success. And I'm doing it for the last time as I'm going to move on to other subjects in my trainings. So if you always wanted to learn leveling up with me and you wanted to take some of my free classes, but you never found the time, then now would be the last chance you will have this opportunity because in the future, this opportunity will not happen again. This workshop is free and you can gain access by going to fabulousfutureformula.com. But make sure you do it today because soon this workshop is going to disappear. So what I mean is that you need to get accustomed with how the next level feels like. If you want to live a more affluent lifestyle, let's say, then you need to start getting acquainted with how that lifestyle looks like and feels like. One exercise that I give my students in my online finishing school is to go to designer stores on a regular basis and just practice the feeling of belonging. It is so important because it's going to actually raise your vibration. And if you work with law of attraction on top of that, well, let me tell you something, you're going to start a life aligning yourself with that kind of energy, that elevated energy, and you're going to see how your life is actually going to start shifting energetically to that level. Some ladies feel that they feel out of place entering a designer store because they feel like they don't dress the part. Now, what is the dress code inside a designer store? Can you come as you are? Well, yes or no. I wouldn't say there is a specific dress code, but I would definitely argue that you should somehow look the part of what the brand represents. People tend to put in a little bit more effort. So going back to the dress code, I would say just wear whatever makes you feel confident. Opt maybe for something more classic, for something more elegant. Avoid athlete leisure, avoid anything too skimpy and maybe too much attention grabbing, unless that is of course your personal style and you're a little flamboyant, elegant lady. Now I'm gonna share with you something that I don't think everybody will enjoy hearing, but I think this is the truth but I also do want to hear from my dear elegant sales assistant watching and tell me, is this true based on your experience? But I must argue and say that I do believe that most sales assistants do judge the people that enter their store and not because they do it in a malicious way, but I think based on their experience with people, they can group people in groups to say, okay, I think this is the kind that maybe would spend money. This will probably be a little bit waste of time. This is probably somebody like this, this one a little bit like that. Again, 
people do this not from a malicious perspective i just think this naturally happens based on their experience so yes if you dress in a specific way they might group you together with certain type of people but if you dress neutrally if you dress very classic simple elegant classy i don't think you have anything to worry about you will probably be grouped fairly neutrally now one more little detail and i am anti wearing fakes but if any of you ladies wear fakes then at least try not to wear them whenever you visit a designer store because oftentimes sales assistants are able to spot what's real and what's not and it might feel a little bit uncomfortable for you now what about the annoying part of entering designer stores things like when the sales assistant is just following you around or really pressuring you to purchase or overall, whenever you just feel like you have to buy something whenever you're there. How do we navigate that pressure? Well, I think this is when it's important to set boundaries with yourself, but also with the people around you. You need to understand that you have all the right in the world to enter a designer store and you do not have to buy anything unless you want to. If you feel obliged to purchase something because you don't want to waste the, the precious time of the sales assistant, I understand some people are really taking a lot of time from sales assistants just wasting it in a way where one might feel it's a little bit rude but you need to remember one thing is that the sales assistant she's still gonna be paid for that day okay she might miss out on whatever bonus or commission that she might earn if you spend money but even if you don't spend any money she's still or he will still be paid for the time that they have spent with you just be reasonable in terms of how much time you take up of somebody if you don't plan on spending anything. Some people really take it too far and I'm sure my, my dear elegant sales assistant can agree with me down in the comments that some people are just so selfish and obnoxious that they don't care about anybody else but themselves. And that is not an elegant mindset whatsoever. But I do believe in the balance where we set boundaries with ourselves and with other people. We're not people's pleasers. We're not a doormat that will just do whatever other people want us to. But we're also respectful towards other people and their time. And we find that happy balance. So yes, you can enter a designer store even if you're not planning to spend anything. You have the right to look around. I would have our advice, if you can, try and do as much research prior to entering the designer store as possible in terms of if you want to buy something specific. This way you will save your time, you will save the time of the sales assistant and just be more effective once you're there. And I also think that if a sales assistant is following you around a lot in the store, just don't take it too seriously. I know a lot of people are bothered by it and frankly, I don't really understand it either. I wish they didn't have to be that aggressive, that they could give a little bit more space, but you know, not everybody understands that. <laughs> Just don't take it personally. They're not following you around because they might think you're gonna steal. Or maybe, I don't know, but usually not. They just really want to sell. But then lastly, what about if they're just rude to you? And yes, you're gonna have a lot of sales assistants like that, unfortunately. But just like Julia Roberts, maybe you can take then your business elsewhere. Because I think the least we can expect from other people is kindness and good manners. And if a sales assistant cannot offer you that, you have the right to do just what Julia Roberts did in Pretty Woman. You work on commission, right? Uh, yes. Big mistake. Now, if you want to find out more of how not to look out of place, then go to my next video of finding out how not to look like a tourist in Europe. There, I'm gonna teach you how not to stand out like a sore thumb in our culture as I am a European myself. I will see you in that video.